Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continued support to my channel. I really appreciate your support. So today in this video, as usual, let us look at the price action in gold, US dollar, currency pairs from the higher time frame to lower time frame and mark the current trend of the price action and present support and resistance levels. And when we look at the economical events plan for today, today is May 12th, Friday at 8.30 am we have high impact news plan for New Zealand dollar related currency pairs. At 11.30 am we have high impacting and medium impacting news on British pound related currency pairs. And at 7.30 pm we have high impacting and medium impacting news plan for US dollar related currency pairs. So we can expect volatility in respective currency pairs during these news hours. Let us proceed with our gold analysis. And when we look at the current price action in daily time frame, so we have noticed a price action to continuously trend on the bullish side, taking support on this trend line or the support line. And after testing this resistance zone between 2066 to 2051, we have noticed a price action to bounce back on the BRE side retracement. And when we look at the direction of this trend line, it is in a bullish trend, and we can notice that. The price action has not breached this trend line or the support line. So for now, the price action in daily time frame is in a bullish trend as long as it is trading above this trend line or the support line. And also we can notice that on the bullish side also, this range between 2066 to 2051 is a very strong resistance zone. So it has to break this resistance zone in order to start its bullish side trend reversal for now it is under a consolidation within this resistance zone on the trend line over here and if the price action breaches this trend line or the support line we can expect the price action to bounce back on the bearish side retracement which means that it has to break this previous support level which is going to be around 1980 which will give the confirmation on the start of the bearish side retracement in daily time frame until this support level is not breached, we can expect the bullish trend to continue in daily time frame. And when we look at the support and resistance levels for daily time frame, so currently the price action is trading between the support level of 2006 and resistance level of 2051. And current price action is in a bearish side retracement. So if the bearish side retracement continues, we can expect it to take support on the current support level of 2006 or at the trend line or the support line from the daily time frame. And once the price action bridges this trend line or the support line, next level of support is going to be around 1967, 1937, 1906 and 1862 on the BRE side. And as long as the price action is trading above this trend line, we can expect the bullish side retracement to continue and immediate resistance is going to be around 2051 and 2066 on the bullish side. And as long as the price action is trading above this trend line, we can expect the bullish trend to continue in daily time frame. Let us look at the price action in 4 hours time frame. I am in 4 hours time frame and when we look at the price action in 4 hours time frame, we have noticed the price action to trend on the bullish trend and again bounce back on the bearish side retracement. After taking support on the support level of 2005, we have noticed a price action to again bounce back on the bullish side retracement and currently it is on a bearish side retracement. Again we can expect this level of 2005 to be acting as a support for the future price action also. And once this level is breached, we can expect it to continue with bearish side retracement and take support on the previous trend line or the support line from the 4 hours time frame or at the daily time frame bullish trend line. And only when the price action breaches this trend line or support lines we can expect a further continuation of the bearish side retracement in 4 hours time frame. And when we look at the current trend of the price action I am again connecting the highs of the past price action and we can notice that currently the price action is in a BRE side retracement are consolidating within this resistance line and the support level of 2005 on the BRE side. 
So in the lower time frame, you can be scalping within this resistance line and the support level. And I would always advise you to enter into the trades at the resistance levels or at the important support levels. Never enter into the trade at the mid of the trend. Let us look at the price action in hourly time frame. So I am in hourly time frame now and as we know from the 4 hours time frame currently the price action is in a bearish side trading below this resistance line or a trend line and consolidating between this support line and the resistance line within a triangle pattern in hourly time frame also. Let us mark the support and resistance levels. So currently the price action is trading between the resistance level of 2023 and support level of 2012. Once the price action breaches this support level of 2012, next level of support is going to be around 2000 and 2080. On the bearish side and on the bullish side, if the price action breaks the current resistance level of 2023, next level of resistance is going to be around 2033, 2047 and 2066. So currently the price action is trading within this triangle pattern so this level of 2000 is going to be a very important support level and this trend line or the resistance line is going to be a very important to decide the direction of the price action in hourly time frame let us mark the support and resistance levels for 30 minutes time frame i'm in 30 minutes time frame and in 30 minutes time frame also we are noticing the price action to respect this resistance line of the triangle pattern and the current trend of the price action is in a bearish trend so it has breached this previous lows also so we can expect the bearish trend to continue in 30 minutes time frame currently it is trading between the resistance level of 2019 and support level of 2011 once the support level of 2011 is breached next level of support is going to be around 2000 on the bearish side and on the bullish side, if the price action breaches this resistance level of 2019, next level of resistance is going to be around 2025, 2031, 2039, 2046 and 2050. And as long as the price action is trading within this triangle pattern, you can be scalping within this support and resistance lines from the triangle pattern. And please remember that the current trend of the price action in the higher time frame is on a bullish trend. It is only the retracement it is making. It is not a trend reversal on the BRE side when we look at the price action from the higher time frame. That's all the analysis for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found this video to be useful, press that like button and share this video with your friends.